recently on the Grilling with JR podcast, Jim Ross told Conrad, essentially, he didn't say that Shane is interested in AEW, but he says he knows for a fact that Shane McMahon has secretly spoke with an AEW talent and dangled the, the possibility of doing that. Kind of like, hey, wouldn't that be a crazy surprise if I popped up there and kind of had those little talks. So Ooh. everybody's starting to speculate on it. Is that a real possibility? Because they're AEW's currently doing the Owen Hart tournament using WWE's legend for their tournament names. And they have a secret slot open. Everybody's saying, what if that was Shane McMahon? Just playing around Ooh. with it. Do you think in an executive role, can Shane McMahon help them? Because I'm thinking... Forget the wrestling part of it. I mean, we know Shane will jump off something. He'll put his all into a performance. But I do think if they were to do that, that can help them from an executive, creative point of view. But do you see that being realistic? Do you, do you, do you think that could happen? I, I hope not. But this been – I'm not going to lie, Dave. I, uh, over the years, I've heard so much rumors of, like, family friction that yeah. I can't even that I can't even rule it out. <laughs> to be honest with you, I can't even rule it out because I've heard rumors of him and Static with, with Triple H. I've heard rumors with him and Static, Static with Stephanie. Obviously, we none of us know if this is real, but right, you know, it does seem to look like there might be, you know, something not right there. It does seem because it because even when they're all in like the same like segment or something like that, it seems awkward. Yeah. You ever notice you even you ever notice even when he was around, you rarely saw him and Triple H in the same segment. Yeah, the same segment. And then, so, and even and then when also did, you always hear and then you always hear even guys like JR say Vince pretty much creatively favored Stephanie because Vince feels like Stephanie's more like him business wise. So yeah. it's impossible for him not to feel a little something comp competitive wise. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's why that's what I mean. I think there was always kind of like a a competitive kind of jealousy between like all of them. Hunter, Steph, Shane uh, of of who can be where, who can get what, who's this powerful, who's not. Like it always seemed like there was like a tug of war going on. So yeah. I could understand if he went to like AEW and started you know, doing business with them in, 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 in a way where he can be like, you know what, let me see if I can create something that could make you guys uncomfortable over there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't rule it out. I, I really can't rule it out. I, I cannot. Listen, AEW need, could use something like this to get people talking. I mean, I'm not expecting it, but I'm with you. I can't rule it out. And I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to see him try. Uh, you know, it's it's funny when in 2001 when they bought out WCW and they did the invasion angle, and of course Stephanie and Shane were on the the opposite side to Vince. But that all started with them having that that classic segment of Shane appearing in WCW and telling Vince he bought it. That was so well done at the time. I could imagine mm -hmm. something legit where he pops up at AEW like, look, I'm part of it, and I'm part of the creative. I got stake in the game now. It would yeah. get the it, it would get the world talking for a little bit. It would. And it would. And I do think I think Shane McMahon's kind of because he's so in and out of the business and likes to do his own investments and do his own thing. I think people kind of overlook what he can bring to the table creatively. He he knows the business. He can bring a My lot dude. to the table. All of the best eras in wrestling he's been involved in. So yeah. I think Tony Khan should be running to this guy. He he might uh, honestly give them something that they don't have right now. And and from a wrestling perspective, you know, the AEW likes to hurt people and do crazy stunts anyway. It, who's better to take a stunt than the daredevil himself, Shane McMahon? You know, I can see him jumping off something high versus Darby Allen. You know, Darby likes to do crazy things. So I, I would be here for it if it ever, ever really happened. <laughs> see, 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 but that's um, 
to see that, but that's the difference. That's that's why I started out saying I hope not, because last time I checked, last time we seen Shane in the ring, he got hurt. Yeah. Off a off a freak accident. It was a normal jump. <laughs> normal, normal, normal little thing, you know, stuns his stuns his leg up a little bit, you know, and clearly, dude, you like what, high fifties? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's not young. <laughs> so you got you got no business going over to AEW thinking that you could still do the coast to coast, thinking that you could still jump off of cages, thinking <laughs> you got no you got no business doing that, David. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Not no, even serious. once? Nah, nah. Uh, nah I'm I hear you. That. I hear you. I'm good with that, bro. If you now if you want to come and actually be a real executive to try to change the landscape, or and then and then also be on 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 camera has like a authority role. Yeah, I would like that. I'm for that. I'm for that. Yeah. I'm for that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're gonna if you're gonna try to be, you know, still that same dude, you know, jumping with and kicking people with trash cans and and stuff like that. <laughs> hell no. Hell no. I don't want to see that no more. Last no, time that's, you got that's a there. fact. That's a fact. If he his he should. I mean, I, I, hopefully he's in that mind space. His, his thinking should be, listen, if you give me the right offer and I don't have to break down my body and it's strictly creative and, and management, I'll do it. But if you, want, it. Right. if you want me to pull these stunts and risk breaking my leg like Edge just did, jumping on Alistair Black, I don't know what. I thought Edge was smarter than that, by the way, but... He should Stupid. Shane should negotiate like yo. I'm not trying to wrestle. I I just think I can make the difference creatively and, right. and, and give y'all some structure here. Right. It, it, it's stupid. To, it's stupid for these dudes that's kicking sixty to, to to keep thinking that they can, you know what I mean? Not do just one offs or not not do something simple. Mm -hmm. You know where you where you probably in the ring for like a good ten minutes and then you out of there. You know, yeah. these dudes still thinking that they could put on clinics. It's crazy. It's crazy, dude. Like, they, they, like at the end of the day, this is a contact sport. People yeah. keep trying to act like this isn't a contact sport where your where your muscles are constantly being used, your your cardio is constantly being used. Like Shane, mm -hmm. let's just be real. Last couple matches he did in WWE, he looked like he didn't have it. Ah. <laughs> You look like he didn't have the, it, nostal David. the nostalgia loving in me. I, I, I think he did all right. I, I really do. He, he, he did all like right. He didn't have it. He did, he, I think the last thing he where he really looked like he had it was against Undertaker. What about what about against Miz? That was one of his recent things. They had a highly entertaining match at, at WrestleMania, yo. <laughs> I mean, I mean, storyline wise. Wow. Storyline wise, I mean, but but but. Come on, you you could just look at him and he he doesn't have the same Shane lift. <laughs> he doesn't have the he same Shane fly. He doesn't. You, that's what I mean. So he, he like, come on, cut it out. When you cut create a when you create a career of jumping off the highest thing ever and, and doing the craziest flip and the stunts, that's the worst style to age with because everybody's gonna expect that from you nobody really wants to see shane unless he's doing something crazy so why do you think it's so hard for guys like matt hardy jeff hardy to to age well they've aged really badly because you really can't do the things that made you famous so you can't and, and, so and, and, it's a wrap. and when you in the moment and, and, and to be honest the moment that you that you can't do it you should go yeah yeah it's and unfortunate Maintain the image, maintain the, the, the legacy, maintain the nostalgia.